Okay, now before going to fitting, this is the one input we have, this clock here. So we need to tie this clock to a pin. So let's open up Pin Planner. Now at this point, things may deviate a little based on what you're using. I'm using the Stratix 10 SI development kit, but the principle will be the same regardless of what you're using. But for instance, now if I open up the schematic for my board, I can see that there's this 50 megahertz onboard clock driving pin T35. So I want to set the location for the input I clock to be pin T35. Now let's go ahead and finish the compile. With the compile done, let's open up Cordis Programmer. and flash the SOF onto the board. OK, and with the SOF on the board, now let's test it. So let's open up System Console, and we'll try out our logic. Now that we have this open, we need to open up JTAG communication. So let's change the directory to where the system console scripts are, where I have some pre-banked commands set up. So first, we'll execute this JTAG AVMM tickle script. This sets up the communication for us to read and write registers from the AVMM JTAG bridge that we instantiated. So we'll source that. Now we can read 20 addresses starting at address zero, like so. So the registers on the first line are the unsorted registers we've input, and the registers on the second line are the sorted registers. I also have this second script, load randoms dot tickle. So you can see that this will write 10 random 32-bit integers to the input registers from addresses 0 to 24 hex. Let's source that to run it too. And now we can read all the registers again and see the result. So you can see here that the first line are unsorted and the second line is sorted from low to high. A couple more times just to see. OK, so that looks good. And there you have it. In one hour, edited down to 20 minutes to get rid of the idle time, We've gone from the beginning to end of an Intel HLS flow. Success. Thank you for watching.